Hey friends Maddie here from Maddie Recap Dan. Today we're going through a 2021 horror comedy movie called Crabs. The movie opens with two lovers on the beach. The woman notices a crab crawling toward them but the guy ignores it as the lady persistently focuses on it. He decides to take a look. He grabs the crab by the tail hands it to her and takes pictures. He notices movement around the crab's mouth and before he can warn her the Crab leaps from her hand straight at him, tearing his face apart. She gets a rock to smash the crab but it runs away just in time. It lunges into her face as well back in the city the regular day goes by as two high school kids a named Philip McAllister and Maddie Minrith wheel past a reverend on a wheelchair who swears at them while Hunter McAllister Phillips' brother answers the sheriff who assigns him community service Philip and Maddie arrive at Philip's cabin Philip retrieves a package he's been expecting, and they both head towards the barn they turn to a laboratory to test it they both stare in awe of the Amorium cluster. Grandma sort of super energy generator. Philip activates it and it makes a hole through the door almost hitting Sheriff Flanagan who came by to drop lunch. Philip and the Sheriff discuss and Philip communicates his displeasure with Hunter's plans to sell their shed Hunter arrives and tells them to fix the four sales sign they pulled down. Just then Sheriff Flanagan receives a distress call and he drives away with Hunter the Sheriff and Hunter discover a giant whale that has been ripped apart unnaturally and wonders what could have taken it out. The next morning as Hunter prepares for police duty he confronts Philip about the hole in the door. Philip tries denying knowledge of it but Hunter tells him to fix it nonetheless. He offers Philip some leftover pizza which Philip declines Hunter tastes the pizza on his way out and finds that it's stale before he tosses it away. As he leaves a crab extends its claws and snatches it unknown to Hunter later. On a missing child poster is seen as Philip goes to meet Maddie who was heading for school. Maddie makes him promise her a movie of her choice without any exceptions. In class Mrs. Annalise Minrath is taking an experimental class on dead cats Radu. A student in her class throws up at the site and is excused. Mrs. Minrith tries setting up Philip and Maddie for dance class but Maddie doesn't appreciate the gesture. Later Radu tries asking Maddie out for the dance party but she politely declines saying she had a date already. With Philip meanwhile Sheriff Flanagan and Hunter continue their investigation. Tracking down more body parts Hunter thinks it's a seal's body part which Flanagan objects did due to the absence of any seal's flapper tracks on the sand. They follow the unwashed tracks of blood into a cave which Hunter follows through to the other side. He finds baby body parts and skinned ribs he finds the first woman whose lover has ripped apart earlier she tells him in horror that crabs did it all that night Radu is invited over by two guys who think he's funny as he's telling funny stories a few crabs crawl in Radu thinks they are badgers until the crabs attack them Radu runs for the exit as the crabs take out the other two. Meanwhile Hunter visits Philip at the barn amazed at Philip's work. Philip who is working on a machine to help his crippled legs test it out with the Amorium cluster Graham and it works. However the machine breaks down after some seconds which frustrates him. Hunter follows him but Philip wheels off. Just as Maddie and her mom come around. Maddie leaves them both to pursue. Philip Hunter then invites Mrs. Minrith. Inside offering her a beer instead. Sharing memories of old high school days. She sees his high school graduation. Yearbook and discovers that he had a. Crush on her back then. They both decide to take a walk so. Maddie doesn't perceive the smell of. Weed on them in the next scene Maddie. Runs after Philip as he wheels down the. Road stopping him he apologizes to her. As they both continue to wheel his chair. Later on Radu runs into a bar breathing. Heavily due to his recent experience. With the crabs. He tries to explain to the people at the. Bar what had just happened but they do. Not understand him. They start to think he is high and send. Him out of the bar. Radu runs out of the bar away to the. Road and bumps into Maddie and Philip he. Also tries to explain to them what. Happened but they seem not to understand. Him either as they talk the noise of an. Injured crab catches their attention. Maddie moves towards it despite being warned by Radu that it is too dangerous. Fortunately for her before the crab 
reaches her it shrinks and dies. This makes Radu heave a sigh of relief. Back at the McAllister's home Hunter and Annalise continue to talk while Maddie and Philip will in. Philip and Hunter enter their cabins as they bid the minarets by. Instead of going home Maddie cajoles her mom to help her with something as she takes her to Philip's laboratory opening it with a key she supposedly borrowed. Radu on the other hand has not left the scene where they had seen the crab as he fumbles with the supposedly dead crab. Suddenly as he does this the crab comes alive and lets out a bigger creature from itself. The next day at the jetty the sheriff is fishing with his line when he hears a strange noise which gets him alarmed. Meanwhile Hunter helps Phillips prepare for the dance telling him of a present. Maddie left for him. It appears to be his reconstructed leg support machine with which he walks to the dance hall. In the dance hall Philip dances with Maddie while Hunter searches for his date to also dance with. Hunter moves towards the bathroom on his way he comes in contact with Krabs and bumps into Annalise who is getting out of the restroom. He asks her if she had come across or heard some crab movement which she denies. She compliments him after which she picks him they then head back to the hall to dance as the dance goes on a crab stealthily crawls towards the disc jockey's corner and attacks him on his face. Annalise walks towards this corner after hearing the noise of the crab tearing at him. Moving close the crab jumps on her in an attempt to eat her face but she holds it before it does. Hunter then comes to her rescue striking it away and orders all of them out. They get sent back as more crabs crawl in through the entrances. These crabs attack many more people as they also succeed in getting rid of some of them as well through all this a bigger crab develops and tries to attack them. They start to run away from it as it looks much more developed than the others. Through this all Philip's leg support starts to malfunction this crab then tries to attack them but out of nowhere. Radu slays it with a ninja sword after which they all go into hiding in an enclosed room. In the room they try to find out what exactly these things are. Soon Philip decides on a plan together. With the others they find out that the crabs are formed from radiation that occurred which has now made them supercharged and stronger and they would need to invent another predator that is also supercharged like the crabs themselves to combat them. So they set out to look for resources for the anti-crab predator in a car. Along the way they find a gruesome view of the crabs attacking people suddenly a man under crab attack runs towards them for help but before they can do anything he gets eliminated as soon as they arrive at the base for their invention. Hunter tells Philip he wants to go check on the sheriff. Philip asks him to stay because he would need his help but Philip refuses. So Philip drives off to look for the sheriff on getting there he finds him bitten already and he takes the sheriff out completely in frustration. Just then Hunter is attacked by another crab at the base Philip brings out the sketch of what they will be creating and they are all surprised. Then immediately they get to work they are seen busy making preparations for the anti-crab predator when they hear a loud growl it's another crab a big one. Soon a number of crabs start to enter the building but they prevent them. Just then Philip completes the supercharged anti-crab kit and sets out. Sitting in it the rest are happy seeing. The predator Philip first goes after one of the huge crabs in a fight ensues with the others watching. He beats the crab and the crab beats him. Back suddenly an electrical problem occurs Philip begins to lose control of the machine then he retreats. With time he regains control and goes back after it then he pulls out a ranger sword from his tail and cuts off one of the crab's claws causing it to also retreat the crab gets angry as a result and comes back to fight Philip having realized how dangerous his ranger sword is it dodges his every blow and after some time overpowers Philip almost knocking him out at first gets rid of his ranger sword and renders him flat on the ground just when it tries to stay on top of Philip and knock him out Hunter arrives in his car he aims for the crab and launches the car ended on a hill and jumps out quickly the hit helps Philip create a diversion giving him room for some action he punches the crab and grips it before he beams it through with his laser kit and eliminates it after getting rid of the monster crab Philip unmounts the 
Fighter Kit in his wheelchair and falls. To the ground exhausted seeing him a light from the anti-crab fighter kit. Hunter and the rest of his crew run to his aid. They help him up and together they create more features for the fighter kit. Finally Philip wakes up in the control room and sees his girlfriend Maddie. Beside him she kisses him and he gets to work with the control launching new attacks at the crabs as he goes. Thanks for watching guys.